this fourth video of our Copilot series, we're going to go ahead and integrate our Copilot topic with a Dataverse. We're going to create a case record and associate that case record to our customer. So let's go ahead and get started. So click on Copilots over here on the navigation and then select your custom Copilot. And then from here, navigate to Topics. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is go click on Create a Case. This is our custom topic that we created uh, before where it's essentially creating a case summary. Uh, it's providing a message that has information about the case essentially. What we wanna do is we wanna extend this behavior to collect the first name. So I've added that in here and also the last name of our customer because the case that we create will have a lookup value to the customer that gets created. All right, so down here what I'm gonna do is I will just extend this summary here, these details to include first name and the variable that stores that value and then last name and the variable that stores that value. Perfect, so now this is saved. We look at this, the mappings look good. Excellent. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add a node here and we're going to choose call and action. We'll go into some of the other uh, areas that you can explore like variable management and uh, adaptive cards and things like that in some of the other videos. So for now, just call an action and then click on create a flow. That'll open up the Power Automate interface. And before we do anything else, let's go ahead and name our Power Automate based on what kind of behavior we're gonna get out of it. So we're creating a contact, actually a customer, create a customer and associate to a new case. So we'll save that. All right. Now here, run a flow from Copilot. Essentially, what this this is a trigger body. So what this is receiving is inputs um, based on the outputs of our Copilot. So what will happen is we'll interact with our Copilot and then provide certain pieces of data and then we'll collect them here as inputs and then use those inputs to uh, handle the logic to create the customer and also to create the case accordingly. So I'm gonna add an input here and these are completely arbitrary, the names. Doesn't matter what you call them necessarily, just make sure you map them properly. So we'll do first name, we'll do last name, we'll do email address, we'll do case title, and we'll do case description. And you just gotta make sure these exist on the topic side. So I'll save this. And now the next thing to do once this is saved is to go back to your topic, click done here, and go back to call an action, which should now pick up on the fact that you've created this Power Automate job. Kind of similar to how Canvas apps work, where you have to create the Power Automate job before the Canvas app is aware that the job exists, so then you bind it, right? Same thing here. So now for our inputs, it's expecting these values. So do are we asking the right questions? Let's see. We're asking for their first name, we're asking for their last name, we're asking for the title, the description, and an email address. So I think we're good. So here we're mapping to the inputs of the Power Automate. So it's just first name goes directly to first name, last name goes directly to the last name, email address goes directly to email address, and so on, right? So let me get that. All right, so now we save this, 
and we have an action that's going to call our power automate. So we're getting really close, but we still have some logic that we need to deal with, right? And where's that logic? In power automate. So here, what we want to do is we want to add a new row because we're going to add a new customer. So I'll just type that in here, choose that action. I'll name this action, create the customer, and I'll look for the customer's table, which is a custom table. So keep in mind. So now the customer name is actually a full name style. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to map in the first name and then a space and then the last name. And that will handle the name. Now what we wanna do is add in their email as well. So the email will come here from that trigger body. So there we go. So we're creating our customer, very good. The next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and create the case. So we'll go and do an add a new row. And make sure you name this differently because otherwise you'll get an error. This is a bit of a bug in Power Automate right now where as soon as you add a new row, it just names it the same as the previous step. So then we're going to go ahead and create a case. And then for the case title, as you can probably guess, I'm passing in the case title from the topic. I want to look at the parameters for the case description. I'm going to pass in, of course, the case description. And then the most complicated of all, you could say, but not that complicated, is you want to go back to your table and you want to look at your customer table and you want to look at that table specifically to look under tools and get the schema name. So you get the schema name and you pop that in right here and it's lowercase and it's always plural. So that's the table that we're looking at here, CR81B underscore customers. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the GUID in for the customer. So the customer value is gonna be here and that's gonna associate the case to the customer, all right? So now let's go ahead and save. Okay, so now that we're gonna test, we'll go over to our topics. It looks like everything is all set. We won't publish this quite yet because we want to test it, but we will restart our copilot by clicking this refresh button here, start a new conversation. And then because this is saved, we can go ahead and, and, and test this out. So I'm going to use a, a prompt trigger, create a ticket, and then we're going to go through this process. So let's come up with something. And we'll describe the issue in detail. I have a blue screen of death. <laughs> BSOD. And I can't perform my job anymore or develop any new applications. Please help. Very desperate for help. And an email address. So it gives us this Support ticket created successfully with details. And now it's going through the process of running the Power Automate, I would expect. And then uh, let's just kind of wait a little bit and see what happens. So let's go look at our flow. Looks like it ran, okay. But let's take a look. Let's take a look at 
our customer base. Do we have Jon Snow in there now? We do. We have Jon Snow and there's his email. Okay, and then what about the case entity? There it is. So we have our case. My laptop is no longer displaying. And it's got the additional data. So if we look here, this case is open. All right, very good.